six, five, four, three, two, one. Ignition. Come on. Start. Lift off. Decolage lift off from a tropical rainforest to the edge of time itself. James Webb begins a voyage back to the birth of the universe. Punching a hole through the clouds, 20 seconds into the flight, good pitch program reported. Come on. Vehicle performance is nominal. The Ariane 5 rocket continues uh, to fly uphill in nominal fashion. The rumble of the powerful Ariane 5 now being felt here in the control center. 3D animation. We can hear the noise and feel the vibrations here. You're right, Rob. Yeah, impressive. 13 kilometers in altitude, 7 kilometers downrange. Traveling uh, about uh, 0.6 kilometers per second. We still got time to separation. We the still got lots of stuff to happen. To be nominal by Jean-Luc Voyer, the uh, range operations manager. You can see at the bottom of your screen the yellow line is the trajectory plot, perfectly overlaid over the green line, which was the pre-launch trajectory. One minute forty-one seconds into the flight about 40 seconds away from shutdown of the solid rocket boosters. Stand by for separation of those boosters. Coming up on the two minute mark into the flight. 50 kilometers in altitude, 50 kilometers down range. Traveling two kilometers a second. Less acceleration for you. Everything is okay. Everything is normal. Two minutes, 15 seconds into the flight. Booster burnout. Separation. Separation des UAP. We have confirmation of solid rocket booster separation from Jean-Luc Voyer. This coming at an altitude of 44 miles. The Ariane 5 and James Webb traveling almost 5,000 miles an hour. We have about one minute, five seconds to go before fairing jettison. That'll be the next critical milestone. The fairing is there to avoid the satellite being exposed to high temperatures and also high air flows. And as soon as the launcher leaves the atmosphere, as is now the case, the satellite does not need anymore to be protected and the web does not need anymore to be protected. So each kilogram being very important for the performance of the launch, we are going to eject this no more useful fairing. 117 kilometers and altitude, down 200 the floor, kilometers down range. The control center to Raphael Chevrier of Ariane Spas. Raphael, so far so good. Hi, Rob. So far so good. Everything is nominal. Fairing as, deploy. Uh, we say when attitude and trajectory of the Ariane 5 is going perfectly well, as you can see also on the yellow the edge, the on the screen. We had the confirmation of the uh, separation of the two swing posters and now of the ferry, meaning that we have crossed the limits of the atmosphere. So everything is going super good. Normal. And the DDO just said that all parameters are going perfectly, perfectly smoothly. So let's continue the mission. And Raphael, uh, this is a view uh, from the upper stage camera called the Vicky Cam. Looking back at the James Webb Space Telescope, this is on about a 20 there second delay is. or so because the way the imagery is processed uh, here in the control room, mm -hmm. there's your James telescope. James Webb is exposed to, to space. Ready uh, its uh, wings ba basically and begin uh, its uh, journey to a, the Lagrange point, the L2 point, about a million miles away from Earth. The trajectory is dominant. Trajectory is nominal. The report from Jean-Luc Voyer. Four hundred kilometers down range. Currently, one hundred seventy-five kilometers in altitude. Here in the mission control center at twelve twenty Greenwich Mean Time, nine twenty a.m. Peru time, seven twenty a.m. Eastern time. The 
Ariane 5 and James Webb, 181 uh, kilometers in altitude, 450 kilometers downrange from the launch site here in Kourou. See, question why they lose the ferry already. Once they're past that 100 kilometers, they don't need it. Five minutes, 12 seconds into the flight. We have about uh, three and a half minutes to go in uh, main stage or first stage uh, performance. And again, you can see at the bottom of your screen the uh, yellow uh, plot line overlaid over the green line, meaning uh, we are right on course, right down the pike, and a perfect trajectory so far for the Ariane 5 rocket. received by the Galio tracking station, which is, which is close to here, where we are in Kourou. It will track the launcher and the ignition of its upper stage, and then we'll, we'll have the natal station in Brazil, Ascension, in the, as you can see on the map, in the middle of the ocean, and the two last stations in Africa. Libreville and Malindi, one on the east coast, the other one on the west coast. And the one on the west coast, Malindi, you can see that the satellite will be, the telescope will be separated more, over, more or less over this Malindi station. And this Malindi station will also acquire... We are six and a half minutes into flight. James Webb on its way. Looks like Ariane Space might have some audio things cutting out here, but we are seven and a half minutes into flight, 234 kilometers in altitude, over 1,100 kilometers down range, only 5.5 kilometers a second. You can see in this animation James Webb, but it is on its way. Thank you guys for joining us. If it's your first time here, hit that subscribe button and like. 5,500 people watching, only 1,400 likes. Let's get it up there. Let's get YouTube telling more people that James Webb just launched. We're waiting. First stage, that big main core stage to separate here right after burnout uh, in just a few seconds from now. Waiting for that burnout. For the day from the range operations manager, mm -hmm. Jean-Luc Voyer, as we stand by for main engine shutdown and separation. There is core stage separation mark. There we go. Extension to the PC. Second stage PC. ignition. We have main stage shutdown and separation confirmed here in the Mission Control Center and the ignition of that upper and stage. Space. And Raphael Chevrier down uh, in the fishbowl. Uh, so far, so good. Yes, Rob, we have the confirmation of the separation of the main stage and the ignition the of the upper nominal. stage. The trajectory is perfectly nominal. This is a very important moment for us because it's always a, uh, a challenge to 